Five minutes, guys. Five minutes, guys. Five minutes, guys. Why am I Japanese? You remember when you said, please tell me when I'm racist? Yeah. It's it, one of those times. one of those things. Thank you. Times. Welcome the commune. Improv is an art form unto itself. The most important thing is don't think. You don't think, you don't memorize. You don't get paid. It's so true, but isn't that kind of fun, too? Are you working right now? Are you applying for anything? Uh, unemployment? Hummus and chips? Hummus and chips? You pick one person, you say the first thing about them that comes to your mind. Connor, go! You're fat. You're dangerous. You're a little slow. Uh, this game hurts my feelings. It's the great paradox of Weekend Live is was it good ever? You should well. not have said that in your audition. I think that's how <laughs> I called you, Finn. He's bringing producers from Weekend Live. Hey, Jack, don't pull some show What are you talking you about? You know you always do that. Anyone from the industry shows up, you turn into a one-man audition tape. This is a new program we're working on right now called uh, Cabs for Dads, but my, my critics like to call it Obama Cabs. OK, we will, uh, we will be there. Hey, um, we're auditioning on Thursday for Weekend Live. Congrats, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> I just for the show in 2003. I was anxious. I was like anxious. I can't take it anymore. I gotta focus on me. I I'm gonna get the job at Weekend Live. So I was thinking about doing General Rollins as an umpire. Okay. Girl! <laughs> My name is Liam Neeson. If it's money that you're looking for, I've got none. I've used all of it. The last six times my daughter was taken. I don't accept that as improv. <laughs> I like my life how it is right now. You can't do improv forever, okay? It just, it ends. Your 20s are all about hope, and then your 30s are all about realizing how dumb it was to hope. This is my room. Where are you going? I'm like 40. I just turned 36. We all said we would wear the same outfit. Everybody agreed. I'm being a professional. You gotta go. Hey, it's Lisa, so you like comedy movies. Well, let's take a look at what's coming up this year for the comedy genre. Zac Efron, Adam Devine, Aubrey Plaza, and the ever-present Anna Kendrick, who star in the hilarious new comedy, Mike and Dave, Need Wedding Dates, which is about hard partying brothers Mike, played by Devine, and Dave by Efron, who place an online app to find the perfect dates, who are Anna Kendrick and Aubrey Plaza, for their sister's Hawaiian wedding. Now, hoping for a wild getaway, the boys instead find themselves out hustled by the uncontrollable duo. No confirmed release date has been given for this yet. Next up, returning stars Seth Rogen, Zac Efron and Rose Byrne are joined by Chloe Grace Moretz for Neighbours 2, the follow-up to 2014's most popular original comedy. Also back in the helm is director Nicholas Stoller. Now this time round, Mac and Kelly Radner, played by Rogen and Byrne, will have to contend with a new group of rowdy neighbours just as they thought they'd reclaim the neighbourhood and were safe to sell. They learn that the new occupants next door are a sorority even more out of control than Efron's Teddy and his brothers ever dreamed of being. Neighbours 2 hits theatres May 20th. Now lastly, for all you fans still mourning the loss of Comedy Central's hit show Key and Peel, which came to a close last year after five season run, we'll get to see Keegan-Michael Key and Jordan Peel taking their comedic skills to the big screen in Keanu. The comedy duo star is Clarence and Rel, two cousins and best friends who live in the city but aren't exactly street savvy. After a devastating breakup, Rel finds solace when a lost kitty appears at his doorstep, whom he names Keanu after John Wick star Keanu Reeves. When Rel's apartment is broken into and little Keanu is stolen by a street gang, these nerdy friends must act like hardened gangsters in an attempt to get the kitten back. Keanu rolls into theatres. Okay, so there you have it. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on these movies and I'll leave you with our comedy movie playlist so you can watch all the trailers.